Former Green Bay Packers kicker Anders Carlson signs with San Francisco 49ers practice squad. The San Francisco 49ers are making a move to bolster their special teams by signing former cat Green Bay Packers kicker Yitzhak Anders Carlson to their practice squad. As reported by a source to the journal Sentinel, Carlson joins the 49ers as a safety net after kicker. Matthew Wright Injured his shoulder while making a tackle during the game against the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday, Wright was brought in after the 49ers starting kicker. Jake Moody sustained an ankle injury in a previous game against Arizona, also while making a tackle. Although Wright's status for the 49ers' upcoming matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs remains uncertain, it's not guaranteed that Carlson will be elevated from the practice squad to handle kicking duties this Sunday. However, his signing provides crucial depth to the 49ers' special teams unit, particularly given their recent run of injuries at the kicker position. Shark Carlson's past with the Packers. Carlson is no stranger to the pressure of kicking in critical moments. The last time he played at Levi's Stadium, he missed a 41-yard field goal that would have given the Packers a seven-point lead late in a divisional playoff game. That miss proved costly, as the 49ers capitalized, scoring a game-winning touchdown to edge out the Packers 24-21. Since being released by the Packers on August 27th, Carlson has participated in several workouts with other teams, but had yet to land a roster spot before this opportunity with San Francisco. Chuck Ryu, Green Bay's Kicking Decisions the Packers originally drafted Carlson in the sixth round of Biao Braves of the 2023 NFL Draft, hoping he could be their long-term solution at kicker. However, the team ultimately decided to part ways with him after training camp and preseason performances. Following Carlson's release, Green Bay picked up rookie Braden Narvison is off waivers from the Tennessee Titans. The Packers also cut veteran Greg Joseph, who had been competing with Carlson for the kicking job throughout the offseason. Joseph has since found a new home, kicking for the Durasi Birami. New York Giants As they dealt with the temporary absence of Graham Gano. Due to a hamstring injury, Gano is expected to return before the season ends, but Joseph's strong performance so far has helped the Giants navigate the kicker situation. Chokir Carlson's performance with the Packers During his lone season with the Packers, Carlson converted 27 of 33 field goal attempts, and made Carty 34 of 39 extra points, demonstrating decent accuracy but some inconsistency, particularly from longer distances. He was 4 of 8 T on attempts between 40 and 49 yards and 3 of 5 feet from beyond 50 yards, showcasing a powerful leg but also room for improvement in precision. During training camp, Carlson made 164 of 78 kicks, a solid 82% on success rate. By comparison, Joseph hit 61 of 77 kicks at our 79.2% ER. But it wasn't enough to secure his spot over Carlson initially. Narvison struggles in Green Bay. The Packers' current kicker, Braden Narvison, has had a rocky start to his tenure. In six games, Narvison has missed on five field goals, converting just on 12 of 17 Watts attempts. His most recent miss, was a 44-yard attempt against the Arizona Cardinals, continuing a trend of inconsistency that has raised questions about the Packers' decision to move on from both Carlson and Joseph. As the season progresses, it will be interesting to see how Carlson fares in San Francisco if he's called into action. His fresh start with the 49ers offers him another chance to prove his mettle in the NFL, while the Packers continue to search for stability at the kicker position. Consensus NFL Power Rankings where do the Packers stand after Week 6? The Green Bay Packers are gearing up for a highly anticipated showdown against the Houston Texans this Sunday at Lambeau Field, marking a top-10 clash in the NFL standings. Following back-to-back -back dominant victories over the Rams and Cardinals, the Packers face a stiffer test as they host the surging Texans. In Packers on SI's consensus NFL power rankings, which compile data from eight national sources, the Texans come in at fifth, while the Packers hold the sixth spot. Here's a look at how the national pundits are viewing the Packers and the Texans ahead of this critical Week 7 matchup. Sports Illustrated, Packers rank 5th. The Packers maintain their position at no. 5 in Connor Orzo rankings after a commanding win over the Arizona Cardinals, 
or highlighted the impressive play of Evan Williams, the team's fourth-round pick out of Fresno State, who has stepped up in recent weeks. Against Arizona, Williams made a key tackle on Kyler Murray's in the backfield, showcasing the Packers' growing defensive athleticism. Orr noted, This Packers team is starting to resemble a true Super Bowl wildcard contender. Their defense is gaining momentum, and with your Jordan Love Shen throwing four touchdowns against the Cardinals, Green Bay's offense looks poised to explode for the rest of the season. Pro Football Talk, Packers Rank, 6th. Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk moved the Packers up to no. Six from their previous no seven ranking, he remarked on Jordan Love's resurgence, stating that Love is playing with the same poise and confidence that made him so effective last season. Florio noted that Love's performance, particularly in the second half, was a return to form, making Green Bay look like a serious contender. Eric Edholm echoed those sentiments, pointing out that Love is getting better each week after overcoming a knee injury earlier in the season. He wrote, Love shifted from a patient, controlled game to taking calculated risks, and it paid off. This version of Love makes the Packers a dangerous team again, especially with weapons like Romeo Daubs, contributing with big plays after his suspension. Josh Kendall's weekly theme, Are We Underestimating the Packers? Josh Kendall, who bumped the Packers up one spot in his rankings, posed a key question. Are we sleeping on this team? His answer? Yes. Green Bay has won four of its last five games, with their only loss coming by just two points to the top-ranked team on this list. The Packers rank fourth in the league in point differential, plus 41, and looked even more dangerous with wide receivers Christian Watson and my Romeo Dobson combining for three touchdowns last week. However, Kendall also pointed out a key concern. The Packers don't rank in the top 10 in key defensive metrics like yards allowed per game, third down stops, or red zone defense, but what sets them apart is their knack for takeaways. With 17 takeaways in just six games, Green Bay leads the NFL in this department, the most through six games since the 2018 Bears. What to expect in Week 7, Packers vs. Texans the Packers are facing a formidable opponent in the Houston Texans, who are ranked fifth in the consensus power rankings. The Texans' standout running back, Joe Mixon, has earned praise for his impact on Houston's offense with head coach Matt LaFleur and analysts like Connor Orr, highlighting Mixon's ability to dominate rushing downs. Orr remarked, Joe Mixon's combination of power running and receiving ability makes him a perfect fit for the Texans' scheme. He's been critical to their success, and with the postseason looming, Houston may need to find additional depth behind him. The Packers' defense will be put to the test, particularly in stopping Mixon and limiting Houston's effectiveness on play-action passes. Green Bay's defense has struggled in some key areas, but their opportunistic nature could swing the momentum. Jordan Love will look to build on his stellar Week 6 performance, while the Packers' receiving core, led by Watson and Dobbs, provides the firepower to challenge the Texans' secondary. Consensus. Top 10 rankings. 1. Kansas City Chiefs. 13 points, 5 first-place votes. Minnesota Vikings. 16 points, 2 first-place votes. Detroit Lions. 26 points, 1 first-place vote. Why? Baltimore Ravens. 30 points. Houston Texans. 37 points. 6. Green Bay Packers, 56 points. Buffalo Bills, Chris Points. Washington Commanders, 66 points. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Murray, 74 points. Dungeon. San Francisco 49ers, 83 points. With the Packers sitting in sixth and a tough Texans team ahead, this Week 7 clash could have significant playoff implications, especially as both teams look to cement their status among the NFL's elite.